Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Welcome to my kitchen. You know, almost three years ago, three years and a little over a month to be exact, I created and uploaded my first ever cooking video on this channel. And in that video, I made one of my all time favorite things ever, hot oil. And the recipe was really simple because like I explained, you don't need a ton of ingredients to create really good tasting hot oil. I mean, it's called hot oil. All you really need are chili peppers and oil. Again, if you guys did not know, I am originally from the ancient city of Xi'an located in Shanxi province in China. And in Shanxi, especially Xi'an, we love our hot oil. We even consider that on its own an individual dish. And we're a little different. When you go down to Sichuan, they love numbing spice, which is uh, usually really spicy chili peppers with peppercorn. And when you go to Hunan, the flavors are less numbing, just more straight spicy. And if you go to Shanxi, we love spicy dishes with a lot of Chinese black vinegar. And the Chinese black vinegar is usually not an element that you would find in a uh, hot oil, but it it is gonna be in this recipe. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients you're gonna need. One and a half cups of vegetable oil. And here you can use any type of vegetable oil or you can use canola oil. Do not use sesame oil because it's not gonna burn that high. Three fourth cups of crushed red pepper. You can use Thai chili, you can use Chinese chili. You can even use the crushed red pepper from the Western supermarkets. But one thing you wanna make sure is that there are a lot of seeds inside your peppers. Otherwise your hot oil is just gonna be oil. This is completely optional. It's for the sesame lovers out there. I have two tablespoons of roasted sesame, four to five cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of Chinese peppercorn, three bay leaves, stick of cinnamon, four star anise, one cardamom seed, and if you really can't find this, it's all right. Sesame oil, and of course, Chinese black vinegar. First thing you're gonna do is get a container, but make sure this container is not made out of any material that might melt. Add your red chili peppers, your salt, and your garlic. Give it a little mix, and set it aside. Next, get a pot, add the oil, peppercorn, star anise, cardamom, bay leaves, and cinnamon stick. Get all of that submerged in oil. Now you're gonna cook all those ingredients in the oil until you start to see the color of the peppercorn change. Not to black, but to a dark brown. So it's no longer reddish anymore, it's more dark brown. That's when you know it's ready. Also by that time, you should be able to smell all the wonderful aroma from all the different herbs and spices. And your oil should start to smoke just a little bit. That whole process is approximately four to five minutes. Once it's cooked, you can either use a strainer and grab all the ingredients out of there, or you can pour the oil through a strainer. Now the oil is ready to begin the most exciting part of this cooking process. But before you pour it over your chili and your garlic and make the whole house smell like spice heaven, you wanna make sure your oil is hot enough or cool enough. Because if you were taking out all the ingredients with a strainer, you might have cooled the oil too much. Or you're pouring your boiling hot oil through a strainer onto your chilies, it might be too hot. So let's say boiling hot oil is a 10. You wanna make sure your oil is around a seven. And the way to test that is this, take a bamboo skewer or wood chopsticks and dip it just below the surface of the oil. When you see bubbles forming after about a second, then the oil is ready. Bring back your container of chilies and this is my favorite part. Pour the oil slowly over the chilies and pour a little bit at a time and make sure you stir so all the chili gets cooked and nothing is burnt. Ooh, that smells beautiful already. Look how red these chilies are turning. It's cooking all the chili, all the garlic, and it's infusing it with this delicious oil. And there you go. That's how you make the awesome Shanxi hot oil. Look at that delicious chili and garlic and oil just asking to be dropped on top of rice or some sort of noodle soup. And when the oil is still hot, this is when you add your roasted sesame. And that's gonna cook just slightly. Final couple of steps, add half a teaspoon of Chinese black vinegar and just a splash of sesame oil. And there you go, a beautiful, beautiful bowl of Shanxi hot oil. I'm hungry for, you know, everything because hot oil basically goes good with everything. I almost wanna like jump in here and take a bath. To get the best flavor out of your hot oil, what you wanna do is let this sit overnight before you eat it. Let all that beautiful essence, aroma, everything from the wonderful ingredients sink into that chili even more. Soak into that oil even more. But I'm sorry, right now just smelling this, I, I can't resist anymore. Let let's take this out for a test drive.
Just the way I like my ramen noodles. Mm. Every inch covered in hot oil. You know, I need something. A little Chinese vinegar. This bowl of noodles has now gotten the shanxi twist. That's amazing. The oil is so fragrant, and I get little bits of sesame, which when you bite into it, it's like little pockets of aromatic flavor. The hot oil and the vinegar is like a flavor bomb that just exploded all over this noodle soup. It really can take something that's just ordinary tasting and elevate it to a heavenly level. All right, I think that ramen noodle test drive was a complete success. This hot oil is all inspected and ready for use. And guys, as always, all the ingredients used in this recipe is in my description box below. So if you are a spice lover, just like I am, please go and try this recipe and I hope you love it as much as I do. And as always, thank you all so much for watching this video and until we eat again, I'll see you later.